We are backstage with what, what, what? Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, a little bit of time before they go on stage. It is raining. How are you guys? Very good, thank you. Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm fab. I'm dead excited to see you too. Good. Nice to see you as well. Oh, hey, I'm excited oh, well, to I'm see you. Help. No, 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 no. Especially you. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> he's been around a little bit longer. We go, we go back a long way. We go back a long way. As I said last time I saw you, you are doing the most amazing job. But tell me, things have changed a little bit. Yeah, things have changed. Um, yeah. <laughs> Things change. <laughs> I no. Change is good sometimes, well, but I miss Tommy. We've never really spoke about Neil. It, to be no, no, we haven't. And I, I miss Tommy too. The thing about, you know, like bands are funny things. You know, we we become this kind of dysfunctioning family, and you know, we Tommy, he, he had ear problems. He, you know, when it comes to health you have to take into consideration all these sort of things and I'd, I'd known for a wee while that he'd had problems with his ear health and you know when somebody you've got to admit to yourself when somebody falls out of love with something you know it's hard to kind of make them love it if they don't want to love it. But, but something you said to me in the interview I did with you a couple of weeks ago was really sort of poignant you said that the songs are amazing and it doesn't really matter you know as long as they're still you're still doing justice to them and you're singing them really well and which obviously you've got the most amazing singer doing that. We, um, have, we have and you know you're right I was concentrating on you know one aspect of it the other aspect of it you know when people do fall out of love with it you want to get people in we're having a good time now right and maybe it wasn't such we were all having such a great time maybe a couple of years ago so when i arrive in places like this people are excited to see us we have i'm super excited i know but we have these songs that seem to have went out there grown arms and legs connected with everybody and you know they sing back to us they sing along and they, these are the things I think the people you know they are important but I think what we're trying to do here is service the songs and the songs that go out you know the people sometimes can be wrong you know what I mean but the songs are always the honest part of the the whole band I think you know what I mean and that's all we've got that's all I think the, the Stones said that sort of thing you know where it was like you know it's the only thing we've got that's the honest bit about us you know so that's what we're trying to do we're trying to put these songs out the songs haven't done anything wrong you know maybe 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 I have man you know <laughs> but the songs haven't and um, it's been a while that you've been in the band now so how's it been going yeah I mean it's been great um Apart from uh, Tommy and Neil leaving, of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah, take that out of the equation. <laughs> no, do you know what? It's, it's been fantastic. It's been an eventful few years, I think, for everyone. You know, and, and I think, you know, can't help but um, you think that, you know, that all that sort of thing as well has had a part to play in, like, this this sort of situation and, and, and lots of different, you know, things, like, with, with people. So, um, like I say, I mean, it's been a ride, do you know what I mean? And I kind of wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest. Um, we've kind of had to fight and prove people and yeah. carry on when, you know, maybe people thought we might not do. And, and I mean, the guys obviously did that when they got me in as well. And it's just been a, a ride, you know, and, we, and we're doing the gigs and loving it. Scotland, home crowd. Yeah. And as I said, to, you know, we've spoke to a lot of people uh, up here already. And, you know, we're kind of elevated status in Scotland, you know, and, and sort of, they, they love us, they, they, they've taken us to their hearts here. And you guys are number one in my world. Oh, in your world too. Well, that's, that, I mean, it all helps, you know, I mean, it, listen, this is the whole reason we do it. For guys like you, you know, who come in and go, oh, we're excited about this, because, I mean, we do this quite a lot, and you go there and you don't really see the impact that you have on people. Am I one of the more excitable interviewers? Well... Not necessarily. I mean, I know you're sitting there shaking like that. I need two hands on the microphone and all that. I never was talking to you. No, but I mean, you know, when you see that, that makes us excited as well, you know, because we love the fact that our music can go out and touch people in a way that I don't know anything that does that apart from music that goes out and connects with people and they, you know, they particularly love a certain song or a certain era, a certain time in their life that it conjures up memories of. And I think 
we're privileged to be in this position that we have that sort of impact on people's life and bring some sort of value to what they you know to what they're about fantastic well we're going to end with just a few quick fire questions between the two of you to see you've been together quite a while now to see how well you're getting on who you think is this that and the other so let me see let me start with who's the funniest do you know what none of us two are the funniest there's a trumpet player in the band called matt he's a pretty funny guy and uh, he gets us all laughing on the tour bus so kev uh grumpiest neil Neil and Tommy. Neil and Tommy. <laughs> They're not there anymore. No, no Marty. That's Marty. A, that's a, that's a, <laughs> just say Neil and Tommy and no one's going to get upset there. Yeah. <laughs> you can't give that for every answer. That's not fair. Um, who's the hardest worker? Oh, me. Definitely. <laughs> no, I, I'd have to say Graham. I would have to say Graham because he's the guy that whenever there's things that need doing that are extra things and stuff like that he's he's on it you know what i mean i mean i could say dougie as well our manager uh, and, and emma as well you know they're extremely hard working there are people you know and every band's got them they're unsung people they're people that that stand in the background and sort of say right you need to go here now now they're the unsung heroes you know people like dougie and emma and a lesser extent fiona who's also left as i might add you know but but these people, they make things happen, you know, that, and these are the people that you don't see. So, you know, we're the, we're, the, we're the front end, the shiny bit that people see and people can interact with, but there are lots of other people. Best looking? Me. Yeah, I'd have to go for Graham again, the Graham. I think I used to be, but uh, listen, I'm happy to hand that over to Kevin now, you know. No, no, look, I'm happy to, for you to... Called a Greek god in the last oh, interview. So, Greek uh, god! Yeah. So, well, um, he's kind of like a Greek god, will. isn't he? Yeah. I'll take that. Most patient? Oh, I'd say me, definitely, yeah. Um, I mean, the first paycheck from the band, it took fucking ages. <laughs> <laughs> Most emotional? I, th- I think we can all get emotional, actually, you know, um, especially playing music, you know, that touches emotions and, you know, speaking to the people before. When you play music, man, sometimes... I remember when we first came out of lockdown, we played a gig. It was such an emotional experience. I think we all had a tear in our eyes, so I think we can all be emotional. Who can drink the most? You're Scottish, so I'm guessing it's going to head in your direction. I don't think it is, to be honest. Um, <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't think it is. I think that's got to be me. I do like a bit of a drink uh, now and again. It does. But I, it does and listen, I used to... I used to drink, I used to drink for Kevin before he was even born, you yeah, know what no I mean? Way. So there came a point in time when I thought, do you know what, I'm going to park up the drinking. You know what, this is why he looks like a Greek god. <laughs> and I will like a little porky. <laughs> I like this. Guys, I love you, I love wet, wet, wet. Thank you so much.